Hi everyone, I know you can't see me, but I just thought I would share my really exciting news that I am going to be getting a puppy, and it's a chihuahua. Um, he's about one pound right now, and his weight's going to be about three and a half pounds, four pounds. Um, so I just wanted to show you all of the stuff that I hauled, um, so I'll do a little puppy haul and um, show you all his stuff, and then I'm also going to vlog uh, tomorrow when I go to pick him up. So let's get started. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff here, and that's not even all. I have um, more stuff coming from Amazon, and I have his cage and um, his carrier. So first, let's start with this. This is a bark box that my sister sent for him. Um, this came in the mail. Um, my sister sent it and surprised me with it. Uh, she sent it from her dog. Um, so I thought that was really, really cute. Um, so it comes with these treats. Uh, turkey bacon and peanut butter treats. Um, they're all natural. Which is good because I plan on feeding my dog all natural and organic stuff. I want him to have all, all kinds of healthy stuff. Um, don't mind my nails, they're just really gross. I had fake nails on. Um, and it came with this cute little treat. Um, it's really soft on the back. It's got fleece and um, it's just pretty tough material. It's just pretty big for him, um, which is weird because this is supposed to be for small dogs, this box, but um, yeah, but this has got a little squeaker in it somewhere. I can't find it, but yeah, it's cute. And then we have, it's a hard cheese chew, the Yak, it's called Yek, Yek Dog Chew, um, and it's this little hard cheese bone, which I think is pretty cool, he'll probably really love that, and once again, this is something that's all natural, which is really good. Um, and then we got this little flexi bowl here. Um, this is good to, I guess, bring with me. I didn't get, uh, find a collapsible bowl yet, so this would be really good to bring with me to give him water and stuff. Although it is, once again, it's a little bit big for him, but I'm sure he'll grow into it a little bit. And then this is just another chew, a crunchy duck chew. That's what this is. Um, so yeah, that's the bark box that I got, and then it came with a little card, um, and it's a come with a little note that she had written, um, but it says, to Dexter from Bane, and that's her dog's name is Bane, and Dexter is what I will be naming my new Chihuahua. Okay, so, moving on from the bark box, um, I got this really cute container, um, from Home Goods. Um, I think it's really good for all of his stuff, like his toys and stuff, so that he can, um, have access to them. Um, okay, so I'll start off with his food. Um, this is the food that I decided to, uh, get him, since I do want to keep him on a, um, organic or more natural diet. I don't want him to have any, any bad stuff, so, um, this is Ideal Balance by... By Hills, um, and it's a small breed uh, puppy food, and I'd made sure to um, check all the ingredients, and everything in here is um, very good. And one of the first ingredients is uh, meat, so that's what you want to look for when you're looking for a good dog food. I got this um, really cool little clippy thing um, that you clip on the dog food to keep it nice and fresh. Um, and it pops out, if I could show you, it pops out and it measures the food for you. So I thought that was pretty, pretty neat. I actually saw that in somebody's video on YouTube, um, but I think that's pretty cool and handy. So the next thing I got is his uh, toothbrush. Um, I really want to try and get into the habit of brushing his teeth because I want him to have healthy teeth and I don't want him to have stinky breath. So I got him this little kit from Petco and it comes with some toothpaste, some finger brushes, and a regular toothbrush. Next, we have some puppy pads because 
even though I don't want him to go to the bathroom in the house, um, he's going to be trained to go outside, but I know that a lot of dog breeders use these to train, um, the puppies, so I just wanted to get a couple, especially for when we're not home, um, if I leave him in his playpen, I could put a potty pad in there and he can go to the bathroom, um, on the potty pad if he has to I just I don't want this to be a first resort I kind of want that to be more of a last resort kind of thing so this is the shampoo I picked out I got this at home goods um, this one looked really cool it's a puppy shampoo I don't know if that's gonna focus on there uh, puppy shampoo it's milk and honey scented it smells really good um, it's not too strong of a scent so I think it'll be good for him um, and I picked that up at home goods Next, I got some nail clippers for him. Uh, it's something I also want him to get into a, um, a habit of, oh, um, I want him to get into the habit of having his nails clipped, so I want to make sure that I got one of these. I don't know how good this one is, but we'll give it a try. Next, I got this microfiber towel for him. I think that this will be good for him um, when he when I have to give him a bath and also when we're picking him up if he um, is a little bit messy or or when we're picking him up I think that this will be good for him to wrap him in or something because he might be a little bit dirty um, if he's gone to the bathroom at all. So on to the toys. Um, I got him this cute little fox. Um, I got this one in Home Goods. Um, does it have a squeaker? Oh yeah, this has got a little squeaker. Um, this cute little fox, and I thought that this would be this rubber right here would be um, perfect for when he's teething. Um, this would be good for him to chew on. I got this little cute little owl rattle. Kind of looks like a baby toy, but it's perfect for him. Um, I think he'll really like this one, and it's got little crinklies in the wings. And I got this little flat little cow here. He's got a little squeaker, but he's flat, um, and he's really nice and soft. I think he'll like that because it's really small. And I had to get him a lamby because I'm obsessed with lambs, and this one's really cute and really soft. It's got a squeaker also. I had to get him a Kong, um, just because they're so hyped up. I've never, um, used a Kong before. I mean, I've never had a puppy of my own, but my dogs, um, at my parents' house, we've never had one of these, but they look really cool and interesting. Um, I don't know if I should have got him the size down or not, but I was a little bit nervous with the size down because... Uh, it looked really, really, really small, and I don't want him to ever choke or anything like that. So I just got the size up. I figured that'll be, it'll be fine. Next, I found these two little rope toys in Peko. I was looking for little ropes for him because um, he's going to be so tiny, and I thought that these would be perfect. Um, he will love this. And then I got it in uh, another color. Um, next, I got some of these... Nyla bones. This one's got some little spikes on it, and I think that'll be really good for when he's teething. And this one's just a clear Nyla bone. Just a regular one, I guess. And then this one, I believe, is an edible one. Don't know if I should give it to him when he's a puppy or not. Um, next, I have his leash and his little poop bags. Um, just because I live in an apartment, so I am going to have to clean up after him. I thought this was really cute. And then I have his little, little tiny harness that I got at Petco. Uh, this was the smallest one they had. I don't know if this will be too big for him, um, but I'm sure he'll grow into this. And it is adjustable. I have it on the smallest settings that it goes on. This is his little tiny collar and his little tag that I got him. Um, I think it's so cute, and it's, like, really, really tiny, and I love it. I'm probably going to wear it when I go to pick him up. So, next I have some blankets. Um, this one is actually just a really soft baby blanket that I found in Home Goods. I thought that this would be good for him, um, just because it doesn't have frillies on the end like these do. I actually made him these two blankets. On this side, I have some brown fleece with uh, paw prints on it and then the other side is like a chevron print and it's really soft 
So I made him two of these little blankets. They're a really good size for him. And this is one of the beds I picked up for him. I think this one is so cute. I actually found this one second. Um, it's so soft and it's like perfect size for him. Kind of looks big on camera, but it is really small. Um, and I think that he'll love this one. And this is the other bed that I got for him. Uh, this one is by American Kennel Club, I believe. This one is really cute also and really soft and cozy and it matches my living room pretty well, which is why I got brown on both because my living room is brown. So lastly, this is his um, cage and the carrier that I got him is on top of it. Um, but this is his little crate or cage that I got him. I think it is a uh, good size for him. It comes with a divider in there, so I did put a divider in. And then I bought this really cute little mat um, from Petco, and it's pretty soft, and this is uh, really cozy. The top of this is nice and soft for him. And I ordered this cage off of Amazon. Um, it was like $30. Uh, I would have liked something that was a little bit better quality honestly but I guess this will do for now but if you're gonna order a cage do not order the Midwest eye crate because I wouldn't recommend it it's one of the foldable ones and I actually didn't want a foldable one but it didn't say that in the um, in the description it didn't say that it was foldable so I wouldn't get a foldable one if you have a small dog like I'm getting and this is his little carrier that I got for him. I thought this was so cute. I got this off of eBay. And this side opens, I think, halfway. And then the other side opens all the way. But this is a really nice uh, soft fleece uh, thing in here. And it's velcroed on the bottom. And it actually pulls out. And this is removable so you could wash it. And then there's like a hard piece, an insert in there. And you take that out when you wash the fleece lining. And this side opens all the way. The zippers go all the way down. It's got some pockets here. Um, it also has, I believe it has seatbelt loops. Yeah, this is uh, seatbelt loops if you want to uh, seatbelt him in. But yeah, I think it's really cute. I think it'll work really well for him because he's really tiny. So I think that'll be perfect. And the last thing I got is his little bowls. Um, I <laughs> just don't know if he's actually going to be able to reach these because they're rather high, as you can see. But these come out, um, so I guess I could always put these on the floor when he's eating if I need to. Or I was thinking about just picking him up some other ones uh, if I get a chance to today. So the next time... You guys see me? I will be picking up my new puppy. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I just went to the store and I needed to grab a couple more things for Dexter. So I figured I would add them to my haul. Um, so I went to Marshall's and I got some treats. Um, these are some Riley's Sweet Potato um, Organic. Um, like I said, I want to feed him organic and natural stuff. So these looked really cute, um, and they're really small little bones. And these are crunchy ones. All the other treats I got are soft, so I figured I would uh, give these a try. Also, I got some more of these treats. Um, I actually ha bought some of these already in the lamb flavor. Um, but these are chicken flavored and they are little bones and these are softer they're not hard ones um and they're good training treats so and then once again these are all natural and the ingredients ingredients look really good oh and then these are for me actually they looked really good though how could i turn these down they looked awesome um I found these cute little bones. It's called a quado. I've never seen it before. It's got a picture of a small dog on it, so I figure it'll be good for him. I wanted to get some pet wipes, and these looked really cool because they looked all there. They are all natural. Um, cool citrus comes with a hundred wipes, and I read all the ingredients, and it says, um, let's see. 
It says enriched with soothing cucumber extract, conditioning chamomile, and a moisturizing complex containing vitamin E. So these look really good and they actually have a picture of a chihuahua on it. So that's really cool. And they were only $5 and it comes with 100 wipes. So these are really look really good. And I got the um, these treats, another bag of these in the lamb flavor because I really like these treats. Um, my mom gives our chihuahua at home um, at my parents' house. She buys these ones a lot and they absolutely love these. So um, I really like these. Plus they're soft and they're small and they're really good training treats. And last but not least, from Marshalls. I could not pass this up. This is so cute. Um, it's. I'm gonna actually put it right on. I'll show you guys. I'm actually gonna put it like right over here somewhere. Something like that. Or probably over here. What do you guys think about that? Where should I put that? I'm really not sure. But I'm either going to put it here or probably up on the shelf up there. To PetSmart, um, I had to get a couple of things from there. I had to get an enzyme cleaner for if he goes to the bathroom on the carpet or on the floor so that he doesn't um, continue to go in that same spot. That's the purpose of an enzyme cleaner. It um, eliminates the smell of urine and then they don't go in the same spot twice. So I got some Nature's Miracle Stain and Odor Remover. And this stuff was really expensive actually. Um, so I hope it works really good because it was rather pricey. And then I also got some another Nature's Miracle. Um, this is the No Chew. Uh, bitter apple spray. It's supposed to make them not chew stuff, but I do hear that some dogs like that flavor, so hopefully he won't like it, and I'll just spray that on some stuff that I don't want him chewing. And I kept, every time I went into the pet store, I kept reaching for this leash, and then I kept putting it back because it was $20, and I actually already have the leash that I got at Marshall's, which was only like $5, but I really, really liked this one because the blue one that I have, the, um, it has only, only has one button on it and automatically locks the leash, and this one you can, I'm gonna try and show you guys. I wanted one where when he pulls, I can just quickly push that down without having to permanently lock it. The other one, um, every time you hit it, it just permanently locks. So I really wanted this one. Plus it was really tiny and really cute. Look how small it is. I don't know if you could tell on there, but I really like this one. Um, it was $20 though, but it's got a really cool design on the leaf. Like, um, a pattern on here. I think it looks really cool. And plus the black matches his collar. That's another reason why I wanted it. And yeah, so that is pretty much the rest of the stuff. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys actually my little treats container um, that I got. It's a little chalk. It came with some chalk and I just wrote treats on it. And I have the treats that I had so far in there. And I'm about to add all the new treats that I bought him. So, yeah, I can't wait to pick him up tomorrow. I just heard from the breeder, and he is on his way. He's being ground shipped, and he's coming um, from a puppy transporting company. They're bringing him here for me. So, I can't wait till he gets here. This the last Finally. one? For the night. Wow. So you guys didn't end up going out to Riverside? They've got three more stores tomorrow. We go home finally. <laughs> it's been a so, long uh, week. Print the sign right here. Print the sign. Okay. If you want to wait. Let's get your wee one. <laughs> He came with some food too. Do you 
guys have the oh, yeah, baggie yeah, of food. Yeah, yeah. Hold yeah. on. This is food, I recommend you uh, plan on changing the food. Kind of, I would go ahead and use this and kind of mix it in yeah, there as you're doing it. This oh my god, is so tiny. Bit. Oh my god. Now I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to talk to you. She's Make sure he's small. Pepe is small. <laughs> Super small. Okay. Uh -huh. I personally would tell you to go get you some. Some of this. Nutri-Gel. Nutri drops Like Nutri-Cal. Nutri-Stack. It's like a you sugar booster. You, I don't know if they yeah. sell it at Walmart right there. I would give this to him like at least three times a day until he gets a little bit bigger. Because he's like a little baby, right? Yeah. <laughs> they run around and their, their electrolytes go down yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. And you know, not that he's been going now, but oh, she's, down, she's down here like. Put him in the, in the blanket. <laughs> 